Right guys, now let's see how to find the derivative of sine x, the first trigonometric function we have here. So, how to start the work? Anyway, we know the three stages, right? The first stage is like x is incremented to x plus delta x and y would become y plus delta y. So, same things happen here. So, can I substitute that? y plus delta y is equal to sine of x plus delta x all right so this this cannot be broken down it's not like a formula like a plus b it is not a into b plus c that i can multiply it like that that a into b and a into c is not like that sine would not be multiplied inside it's an angle so it can't change so keep it like that only now what happens take y so can i put y on the other side yes x plus delta x minus y so who's y is my question back again so y delta y is sine of x plus delta x minus of sine x okay that's what i have all right so the first stage is done where i have delta y on one side delta y is on one side i have sine of x plus delta x minus sine x that's what i have all right now i need to divide both the sides by uh, delta x and I'm, i should make sure that it cancels off now can i use some formula here the, is this guy looking like one of the transformation formulas here you can see it is not the first one because the first one has got a plus sign it looks like more the second one the sign c and sign d this whole thing thing is c this whole thing is d right if i use the transformation formula it goes like what that is two cos who c c is this guy x plus delta x plus d who is d d is this guy that is x right the whole thing divided by 2. Look at that. This formula we're talking about c plus d by 2. And this guy is c, let's say this guy is d. So c plus d by 2 minus, or should I say into, yeah, into the right hand side is sine of x, uh, c minus d. Who is c? c is x plus delta x. c minus d is this guy, x. The whole thing divided by 2. This is what I have. So that's my formula, right? Now let's go ahead. I still have delta y here and 2 cos. I have, I can write 2x plus delta x divided by 2 and I can cancel this guy as sine of delta x by 2. Alright, that's what we have. The next stage has to be dividing both the sides by what? Delta x. Let me divide. So divide by delta x. Second stage, divide by delta x. Now look at this. Now, none of these delta x can come out to cancel with this guy so what to do how can i eliminate delta x before i apply the limits right we need to include this guy in some formula so i gave you that formula look at this i have a formula from first view say if at all limit of theta tends to zero sine theta by theta is one so it means limit of theta tends to zero or let's say delta x tends to zero sine delta x the whole thing divided by delta x is also 1. The condition here is whatever is here should be here. Now, if I have limit of delta x tends to 0, I have sine of delta x divided by 2, the whole thing divided by delta x by 2. Okay, now this, this is very important, right? Is again 1. So, whatever design you have inside sine, the whole design should be here in the denominator, the complete denominator. Then I can write as 1. So, come back to this. In this case, I do have sine of delta x by 2, but the denominator is only delta x. This guy is only delta x. I, I need a 2 down here. If there was a 2 down here, I could have used that formula, right? But there's no 2 here. So what to do? Write a 2. That's it. Just write a 2 here and write a 2 here. This is not, not illegal in maths. It's legal in maths. I can just cancel this guy and same, get the same question, right? But I'm just multiplying a 2 here and dividing it here. So it doesn't make a difference. Now what happens? I can see. I can simply see that. Uh, I'll raise this part of it. All right. So I can see that um, on the left hand side I have delta y by, I have a delta y by delta x, and the right hand side I have 2 cos 2x. I can divide this guy. So 2x, uh, uh, I can write this 2x by 2 plus delta x by 2, and sine of that is delta x by 2 the whole thing divided by delta x by 2 and this 2 is here i'll separate this guy okay this guy looks separate so i can use a formula there now this 2 and this 2 would cancel out now apply the limits so limit of delta x tends to 0 i have delta y by delta x let's go limit of i can write delta x tends to 0 cos of 
2x by 2 I can cancel this in fact x would be here plus delta x by 2 into limit of delta x tends to 0 I have sine delta x by 2 the whole thing divided by delta x by 2 okay now this guy is this guy not looking like the formula which we just discussed yes this can be written as 1 and in this case where you find delta x put a 0 here so what happens this guy looks like dy by dx you're done with this here I put this guy 0 I'll get what cos of x plus 0 and this whole thing becomes 1 so what is the answer cos of x okay that's dy by dx of our differentiation of sin x is simply cos x that's how we get the uh, formula of differentiation of our derivative of sin x using first principles all right the rest of these six trigonometric functions have the same logic all right i'll do a couple of them i would like you guys to work on it yourself